Hi, are you tired of dealing with paper check registers or maybe you've been using a spreadsheet but have a hard time or impossible time trying to reconcile the deposits and withdrawals? Reconciliation means if, that, if you can see that your bank has received a deposit or withdrawal, that one is reconciled. If you see that they have not yet received a deposit or withdrawal, that deposit or withdrawal has not yet reconciled. Reconciling your checkbook helps you know what's in your account at all times so that you don't, for example, write a check that overdraws your account. I haven't seen a spreadsheet on the internet that has reconciliation, so I decided to make mine available. Paper registers are so messy, and if you need to go find a transaction, it's a hassle. You're looking through so many different books, trying to find the right one. I've been using a spreadsheet register for almost nine years. There's no going back for me now. I, so I have all my data. It's readily available. Finding a transaction is much easier. And doing the calculations, a breeze. Um, you know, you're not pulling out a calculator, hoping you're punching the numbers right, and all that kind, of, all those kind of things. So this value here, this will tell you what your balance would be if all of your transactions were reconciled with the bank. The bank balance or the reconciled balance in column H, this tells you what your what the bank says your balance is. Column I, this is where you uh, denote whether or not you have reconciled each uh, transaction or not. Okay, so uh, the starting balance right here, this, this number, this 5,000, if you're transitioning from a paper register, put the reconciled balance here and in the rows under this, only transfer over the withdrawals or deposits that have not been reconciled. Okay, so let's add a transaction here. <clears throat> and by the way, always start with the next row. Uh, never start with, uh, never skip a row. I'll show you an example of what happens if you do. You'll get these errors and Another thing, never drag and drop. So if you say, oh, let's get the row, let me drag it up here and drop it. No, it's it'll give you these errors here. So we're going to undo that. And uh, just always start with the next row. So let's say that we're going to add an example. Um, date, say it was February 24th. Say it was check 203. Say it was a cable bill. Uh, let's say that it was an expense, and let's say it was $100. Okay, you can see that the bank, uh, the balances, both balances automatically updated. And this bank balance, this and or reconciled balance, this uh, will automatically presume that the transaction has not been reconciled. So I'll go ahead and put an N just to make it explicit. But when I do, you can notice that the balance did not change. Okay, do you see how this balance right here matches this balance right here? That's because we've said that none of these transactions ha have been reconciled yet. Right here in this column I. Let's change a few of these to yes so that you can see what happens to that balance. You see how it automatically updates? Okay, and let's just, uh, you know, put all those back as they were, except let's just make this a yes, and let's put a check mark here. Okay, now, now say that this is where we're starting. We, we have our spreadsheet this way, and we're ready to start reconciling now. So what we do is we come to our spreadsheet, and we see that we have a check mark here. So with this check mark, tells us is that the last time that we reconciled, this was the last transaction that we confirmed had cleared with the bank. So we start from this point, we find this transaction on online with the bank or, or the paper statement, whatever you're using, but let's just say that we're online on, and we're looking at the bank statement online. 
and we can see that the water bill, we find that transaction and we start from there and then we see what the next transaction is that cleared with the bank. And let's just say that it happened to be the mortgage. So we come down here to the mortgage and we say, yes, that has cleared with the bank. So this one is reconciled. And we do, we check and make sure that these uh, values are the same, that it was $1,200 that did clear, you know, no one made an error in inputting that value at the bank or, or, or anything. So then the, let's say that the next transaction to clear with the bank was the ATM. After the mortgage, the next transaction to clear was the ATM. So we, we say yes here. And then we see what the next transaction to clear with the bank is. And let's just say that it was the paycheck. So we put a yes here. And say that that's all that has cleared with the bank so far. So we'll put a yes, we'll put a check mark here. We'll delete this one. When you go to this balance, 5660, this should be what the balance is in your account online with the bank. The bank should be saying that this 5660 is the balance in your account. And if it does, you know that you and the bank are on the same page and um, but you'll know that you know once the other transaction is clear that you know of that the bank doesn't yet, then your real balance is really going to be fifty three eighty. But uh, as of right now, the the bank balance says says this five six six zero, and you know that you're on the same page, and you know that hey, if you want to write a check for fifty two hundred dollars, you know that you're you're in good shape to do that. Um, you wouldn't want to write a check for 5500 you know, thinking, oh, well, the bank says I have 5660 and I'm going to write a check for 5500 No, don't do that because you've got some other, you've got some other transactions coming. So, um, okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please click subscribe. I'm planning to make more spreadsheets available that are good for everyday life like this one. If you'd like to purchase this spreadsheet, please see the notes in the, in the comment section.